What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And today I am going to be modding out this Mage Gi Sky 68 keyboard. I had this keyboard for a while, but I got the idea of modding it out by watching Switch and Click and also watching Hippiotech. And they challenged each other to upgrade this keyboard. And a little fun fact, when I went back and watched those videos, Betty actually featured me in her video. See, you can see it right here. Yeah, it was more like my Amazon review, but hey, I can still say I was in a switch and click video. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this keyboard here. Here's a little sound test of what it sounds like now. And hopefully I can get this thing to sound and look a lot better after these mods. I tried to put new keycaps on it, these clear keycaps, but these are really cheap. And it really makes the keyboard sound worse than it actually does. You can tell right here when I hit the clear. I was giving that clacking noise, but the keycaps that came with it, it's not that bad but you can hear that echo. So I'm gonna do some mods with some stuff that I have around the house, mods that you're probably familiar with if you're a keyboard enthusiast. And we're gonna see if I can make this thing sound and look better. So the first thing we need to do is remove these keycaps. Now it's time to crack this thing open. My version of the wild steak. All right, screws have been removed and this should easily come off. PCB. All right, so I'm going for the traditional tape mod here. Last time I used painter's tape, but I think this time I'm going to go with electrical tape. Just to do a little something different to see if I get a nice, no clackier sound, I guess you would say. Okay, so I just noticed something about my board here that's different from Hippiotech and Switch and Click. Theirs was hot swappable. This is not hot swappable. So I was going to keep the purple switches anyway and switch them out for some like knockoff Holy Pandas that I found on AliExpress, but it looks like I cannot do that for some reason. I got a soldered version. I don't know why. So this is definitely one of those situations where I say, don't do as I do, do as I say. I'm getting into keyboard monitor. This is only my second one. So I don't have all the proper tools. So 
The stabilizers need a little help, so I'm gonna use Vaseline. <laughs> Don't recommend doing this, but it's a $30 keyboard, so if it screws something up, I don't care. I gotta work on this hollow thing. I don't have any silicone or shelf liner, so I'm going to use training pads for dogs. I had these laying around the house, so I figured why not? This could be a good sound dampening thing. And I'm gonna try and put that right in there. Wish me luck. honest this is a warped it looks warped I had a hard time getting this back on and it looks warped to me I know I'm having issues right here I kind of have to press down to get the cord in there I think the electrical tape mod was a little much but it kind of looks warped. Anyway, we'll move on to the keycaps. So I got two sets of keycaps. I got these called Soya Milks. I actually bought these for a different keyboard, but I was gonna throw them on here, but now since I think the board is warped, I think I might just use these. So yeah, I'm gonna go with these. Sound off in the comments if you think it's worked. Obviously, if that's not going all the way down, it's worked. Anyway, cue the keycaps. Maybe I'll do a little hippie old magic. And the keycaps are on. Still looks warped to me, but. And ran into an issue, they didn't have a shift button. So I have to go back to this one. Um, it sits flat. Looks nice, except for that. And let's do a sound test and then wrap this video up.
So it's definitely more clackly clack than clackety thock. But I don't like all my keyboards sounding the same. Um, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I had a hard time getting this thing put back together. It does still sound just a pinch like it's still hollow, but it feels firm. It definitely sounds better than what it did. And I'm happy overall with the, with the outcome. I think it came out pretty nice despite this not having that one button and I didn't have these either so I just put those there but anyway uh, thank you for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up I want to see if I can get um, Betty from Switch and Click and Hippio Tech to weigh in on my mod and let me know what they think of it and how they think I did um, I thought it wasn't hot swappable, but I accidentally pulled out one of the switches and it is hot swappable, so. So I guess it is hot swap. Accidentally pulled that out. But it looks soldered on the back. I didn't see any hot swappable sockets on the back of it, unless I just broke this thing. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Thank you for tuning in and I plan to review a bunch of other keyboards that I just recently picked up. Until I see you in the next video, this is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000G.